Hey everyone, Joey here, and today we're going to be doing something with the AYN Thor. The sound on the AYN Thor isn't amazing. I think everybody knows that. I had it in my review, I've had it everywhere, I've even compared it just recently to the Odin 2 Portal and the Xbox Ally X, and yeah, it's lacking in quite a bit of things. However, thanks to two users, we have a way to actually fix the sound using some tweaks and something called James DSP, which has been around forever. You could use it on the portal, you could use it on other things as well. So today's guide will actually work on the portal, but I think it transforms the AYN Thor a lot more than the portal. So let's look at this. Now, special thanks to two different people for this. Amphi for the actual EQ of what we're gonna look at, and JSmash97 for the actual instructions. Okay, so what we wanna do is head into Chrome, or whatever browser, and you want to search for the O2P, O2P Tweaks GitHub. Now, it doesn't find it for me, but there is a post on the subreddit that you can just check. And if you scroll down, you can just click the O2P Tweaks link to get you to the GitHub. I'll also put this in the description so it's a little bit easier if you want to do that. But once you're here, just scroll down and you're going to see releases on the right. So just click releases. And you want to jump down a little bit and you wanna grab this APK right here, very first one. If there is a new one in the future, just grab whatever the newest is, but as of right now, it is 0 0.3. Go ahead and install this app, and then we're gonna open it. Allow it to send notifications, and it's gonna say unsupported device, but don't worry, click confirm, that is okay. And now there's a few things that we need to do. So head over to settings on the top left, go over to tweaks, and you want to scroll right down to James DSP and enable it. You also want to go ahead and install James DSP Manager, and it's going to pop up that it's not allowed to install it. Just click OK and allow from the source, and then install. Now you want to open James DSP, and you can allow this to send notifications. And now we have to make some settings changes to the EQ of James DSP to make everything sound better. So first things first, Negative 0 0.10 dB, that is perfectly fine. The limiter release, we want to set this to 500. So I'm just going to scroll all the way over to 500, which we see here. Then we scroll right down. And now our post gain, you want to send it to 15, but this will be whatever you're comfortable with. This is basically how loud it is going to get. So if you're finding that it's maybe a little bit too loud, you can lower this a little bit later, but 15 is a good starting point. Go ahead and scroll down and you want to enable arbitrary response equalizer. And then what you want to do, I'm going to paste this in the description, but there is a line of code that you need and we're going to be putting it here in the graph. So just tap on the graph and you want to go edit as string. And it's going to say graphic EQ nodes. Just delete that completely and paste in what is in the description. So you're going to get a line that looks just like this. Go ahead and click done and then click okay and you're gonna see that it just made our nice EQ. So again, thank you to Amphi that set up the EQ for this because that's what we're copying here. Now you wanna scroll down and you wanna enable live programmable DSP, then tap the live prog script and you wanna change it to stereo, which is right up here, and then you want stereo wide. Next, tap additional script parameters and have stereo width set to 2.0, which it is by default, so you're set there. At this point, you should now have stereo wide better sound. So let's go ahead and test it out. Now to activate and deactivate this, you just push on the little power button here, and you'll see it in the notification, audio, practice, or audio processing is active. To turn it off, same thing, and it'll say audio processing disabled. So let's go ahead and do some comparisons. Now one other tip before we do comparisons, if you swipe down from the top, and you go over to the little pencil icon, we can add the actual James DSP toggle, and I'm gonna put it right at the top here, just to make it easy for testing. I'm gonna put it right next to Bluetooth. That way, now I could just easily swipe over somehow and turn it on and off through the actual toggle. It does take a second for it to actually register, so just keep that in mind when you turn it off and on. Just takes a second and you can see it's disabled. I'm gonna turn it on and let's go ahead and test. Okay, so I have Bellatro here and I have James DSP open on the second screen just to make this easy for me to turn it off and on so you can see. And the sound that you're gonna hear in a second is without it on. And this is the loudest volume. So let's have a listen.
And now on. That's a massive difference. Let's go ahead and test something else. Let's do a bit of a fun, less stressful video today. When I say less stressful, I mean for you guys, not for me. So this is me, I have a and, and yeah, we've heard that now in the beginning without it on. Let's go ahead and turn it on, and we'll listen to it all over again. And I apologize for those of you that don't want to hear me. a bit of a fun, less stressful video today. When I say less stressful, I mean for you guys, not for me. I have a problem. I have very, very big difference, as you can tell. So this does help on just helping that audio make it sound a lot better. But let's do a few more tests of games. Quite a big difference. It, I'm gonna keep saying it, but it is quite a bit difference. We'll do one more game and then we'll end it off today. Okay, I think you guys get the point. If you want to install it, go ahead and install it. I left all of the instructions in this video as well as in the description so you can help improve your Thor's sound. This also does work on the Odin 2 portal if you want to try it there, but it is more of an improvement on the Thor than the portal. Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow. Come join me on the Discord to talk all about handhelds like this one. Support me through YouTube membership if you like my stuff. And hope you all have a good one.